Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Brandywine Angler. Today we've got something a slightly different on the agenda. So recently I purchased some fitted hats, uh, 5950 New Era hats, which I tend to really like. Um, and I am a seven and three eighths, mostly. Recently I've gotten a couple of hats that ran big and they don't really fit all that well. And so I wanted to see if anything can be done to shrink them so they'll fit. My problem is if I go to seven and a quarter, they're almost always uncomfortably tight and give me a headache if I wear them for long enough. It seems like other people have this same problem because I did some searching on the internet and found some other people with some ideas about how to take care of this problem. What we have today is this 5950 low profile Erie Outlaws hat, which I like, but it's just a little bit too loose for my liking. And so what I'm gonna do is try this method, which seems a little crazy, but um, it's a method that a couple of people have suggested works. So step one is you take the hat and you put it in a pan of very warm water. Now this water is boiling and I am going to get it so that it's just steaming, not boiling. And then you sit the hat in the water, just enough water where it covers the hat band. I think I've got enough water in there for that. And you let it sit there in the very, very warm water for 10 minutes. Okay, I added a couple of ice cubes to my just slightly too hot water here and we're now off the boil and I'm putting the hat in and making sure that the hat band is in that water. Now we're just going to wait for 10 minutes. Okay, halfway in I added enough water to bring the the water right up to the edge of the pan to make sure that all of the hat band is under the water and uh, still kind of uh, steaming a little bit but not boiling and other than the fact that the Erie Outlaw baseball guy looks angry about his circumstances uh, everything looks okay so far. Incidentally I have my um, burner set just above the low setting once it boiled, I just added a few ice cubes that brought it off the boil and I just have it set slightly above the low setting and that seems to be keeping it steaming but not boiling. Okay, that's our 10 minutes. I'm gonna lift the hip hat out. Allow some of the water to drip off and put it over here. I've got a cookie sheet that's covered with some extra like hand towels to help absorb some of the water that's going to drip off and I'm just going to let it sit there and let some of the water drain out of the hat before we go to stage two. Okay the hat's pretty well drained off after 30 seconds or so and now you'll see we're here at the dryer. We've got the dryer set on 60 minutes, the most it can do, high heat, the hottest it can go, and we're gonna run it in the dryer for 60 minutes. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm gonna pull this guy out and see how we're doing. Looks okay. Well, as you can see, snugged up just the right amount, fitted just perfectly. Still a little damp, but I'm gonna uh, let it dry naturally from here on out so it doesn't shrink any further. And uh, boy, that was a huge success. Shout out to YouTuber ROCI, there's a space in between those, they're all caps, uh, who, as far as I know, did the first video on this method. He has a step where you put the hat in the oven at 300 degrees. I couldn't bring myself to do that, but shout out to him anyway for the boiled water, um, high heat dryer suggestion, because it definitely, definitely works. 
one final, uh, well, a couple final notes. This, as you can see here, is the 100% polyester uh, version of the 5950. And I understand that this actually also does work with the uh, on-field versions that are wool, and then there's some blended versions out there. Apparently works with all of them, but it, I can definitely attest that it works with the 100% polyester version. Well, as always, I'm the Brandywine Angler, sometimes not angling. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time.